What is up guys, Cup Guy here. Today we're going to be talking about how to find some Calculus 3 stuff. We're going to be working with level curves, gradients, and some angle stuff, you know. Basic thinking with your head. I really like these problems. Um, especially this one. I, I actually really like this one. That was pretty clever. Hope you guys think the same once we're done with it. Um, but yeah, shout out if you're watching this, this Calc 3 class. What's good? What's good? Okay. Oh, I'm sharpening my pencil. That's a great, it's a great start to success when you sharpen your pencil. It's from graphite in your lens. Okay. All right. So for the function, okay. I have a piece of paper out. Let me write on that. All right. Never mind. All right. So for the function, f of x y um, that equals negative five x squared minus four x y minus 5y squared minus 4x minus 5y plus 2. So we have to find a tangent vector to the level curve at the point 1, 4. Now what this level curve looks like, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to draw a level curve like this. And for those of you who don't know what a level curve is, what the heck are you doing? How have you made it this far in calculus? And uh, Or if you're not taking it, then uh, well, good on you. Good on you. I'll show you what a level curve is right now. So let's say we have like a ball, like a three-dimensional ball, like a soccer ball, right? And you want to trace the height when it's like, mm, when it's like a quarter of an inch off the ground. And this is the radius of the soccer ball. Radius is like five. Well, the radius is like, like what? Ten inches? Yeah. Radius is ten inches. The diameter is twenty. So you want to trace it when it's a quarter inch off the ground but what happens when you want to trace it when it's uh, let's say nine inches off the ground then yeah okay I just had to make sure I think about it right then this will be the trace of all the points on the ball that are nine inches off the ground if we did like four it'd be like this so that's basically what a level curve is. It just tells you all that good stuff about where the, fu the function's height, you just trace it along a certain point. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, if you need more help with that, just leave a comment and I'll try to help you. All right, so when you find a unit, so let's just pretend that this is a level curve. We need to find the unit tangent vector to the level curve at the point uh, negative one, negative four. So basically, I like to think of unit vectors as just like directional vectors. Um, that might not be too formal, but whatever. So let's say the point negative one, negative four is right here, right? So we're trying to find this vector, the vector that's tangent to the level curve, more like this, but whatever. Now, finding this directly would be pretty hard. I don't know if there is a method. There probably is. You can do pretty much everything in mathematics. But we, what we can do is use the gradient. And remember, the gradient is a normal vector, aka 90 degrees to the level curve. This is the gradient vector. And then what we can do is we can find the angle that this vector makes with the x y with the x axis. So like this, we find this angle, and then we add 90 to get this direction, or we can subtract 90 to get this direction, depending on if they want a positive or negative x component. So let's start off with a problem. So df dx, the partial of f with respect to x is equal to negative 10x minus 4y minus 4. And the partial of, x, of f with respect to x is equal to negative 10y minus 4x minus 5. All right, so doing a bunch of crazy stuff. And the points right here. All right. So now let's find the gradient of the vector of the function, I mean. And also remember that the gradient is the direction of steepest descent as well. And the magnitude of the, the gradient is, is um, 
the total, the maximum change that you can get at that point. And like, yeah. So, the the direction or <laughs> the gradient at the point negative one, comma negative four. It's been a long day, also. I'm kind of tired. All right, so we got. Oh crap! I probably should. So for for the for the for the x derivative, we got we have ten plus sixteen minus four, so twenty two. So twenty two comma. So I was just rocking out to Pearl Jam. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so then we gotta get started on this. So we have 40 minus 4, or plus 4, sorry, minus 5 is equal to 39. So boom, we have our gradient, which is the direction of steepest ascent. But we can't really tell direction too well like this, and we also want it in degrees. So what we'll do is we'll do, this is easy since they're both in this quadrant. So all we have to do is make a triangle with this vector. So we're at 22 units this way and 39 units this way. And then we get an angle, which will be equal to this angle right here. So this angle is equal to the tangent inverse or arctan. I actually don't know why they call it arctan or that's a good question. I should probably ask my teacher. And remember, tangent is just opposite over adjacent. So let's equal to that. If you don't know this, then why? Why don't you know this? Come on. Um, let me get a calculator. Oh, here's a calculator. You're gonna, somebody's going to roast me in the comments saying, Oh my gosh, you don't know the tangent inverse of 39 over 22? Don't you know the triangle identity of a 39-22 square root of a lot? triangle wow you don't even know that identity <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's people who actually know triangle identities as well there probably is anyways I can't be right I think I was in radians guys <laughs> let me let me do this again okay yeah I was in radians okay so tangent inverse you probably got this way before me honestly 60.5 and then we carry it out a little bit more in our calculations um so that's that's this and this it's cool because it kind of matched up with our graph so our gradient vector is going out 60.5 degrees to this so now we either add or we subtract well if we think about it if we add 90 or if we subtract 90 going this way well, we'd have a negative x component because the direction is going to negative. So we need to add to make sure we're going the other way. So we go, poof, poof, we're going this way. And you just estimate it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you, so all you have to do is 60.5 plus 90 is equal to 150.5. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. I got mixed up. I got mixed up. So this is this is the direction you go if you add 90, because remember the angle is measured in degrees from the x y, so we go this way. And this is if we pull it back a little bit more, like 90 degrees this way. See, we're pulling it back 90 degrees. Woo! All right. So the angle that we get from this is going to be 60.5 minus 90, and that's equal to. I need a calculator. I'm not fit to do this right now. Negative 29.5 degrees. What does that correspond to in this? Well, think about it. If this is, if we're negative 29.5 degrees from the x axis, all we have to do is subtract 360. So 360 minus, and I'm sure you can just type in 29.5 in your calculator, negative 29.5 in your calculator, and you get the same answer, maybe. I don't know. I like to do it this way though. It's better to contextualize and stuff, especially if you're just learning this. If you're already an engineer and you don't know this, and let's just say I don't want to live where you engineer at. 330 
0.5 is our angle of the unit tangent vector to the level curve. So what the freak do we put down here? We have to put down an integer. Well, we can also write the unit tangent vector. Well, we haven't even gotten a unit tangent vector. We just got the angle. So what do we do about this? Well, if you remember, the most the most famous unit tangent vector is cosine theta and then comma sine theta. Boom. And this gives us direction and the magnitude just ends up being one. So it's freaking beautiful thing sometimes in math. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, so plug into my calculator, cosine 330.5. All right, so we get, uh, crap, I don't think I, I didn't carry out the, <laughs> the, the decimals in my calculator. Uh, I'll just, do I really want to? Yeah, I do. <sighs> Maybe I'll cut this out. Maybe I won't. Maybe you'll just hear me talking. I mean, how many people are actually going to view this thing? Come on. Uh oh, guys. No, this can't be right. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh, I just got a different angle, but I did the wrong calculation. Okay. Let's get this. Copy. Sign. So I'm so quiet. I just need to. I just need to get this. Three sixty. God damn it! My calculator's not, not behaving in the way I wanted it to. That's three sixty. Okay, finally. Okay. So I just want to be precise in my calculations. I don't want to get it wrong by a little bit. Doesn't matter. We still get 8.71. And then sign. And we get negative point four nine one. Awesome. And this should work. And if it doesn't, then I'm gonna cry and be very sad.